Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23516, a build that still has the 22H2 version displayed on Windows specifications. But of course, on the dev channel, most of the features are not tied to any specific version of Windows. They are tested to be later on introduced in certain versions of Windows. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by keysfan.com. Keysfan offers Windows, Office, and other tools licenses at a very good price. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50, and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11 by using the coupon code TB50. You can also get Windows. 11 Pro for just $13. Office licenses have an even better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the great prices from keysfan.com and the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. First of all in this build, Microsoft is improving the screencasting experience which allows you to wirelessly extend your display to another nearby PC, TV or other external displays. So Microsoft starting with this build provides the suggestion to cast via notification toast when you are doing multitasking activities on your PC, such as switching between windows to complete a task or using snap assist to organize your screen space. And they will also provide inline setup of a PC from within the cast flyout and quick settings with step-by-step -step guidance for users to enable. I think these are some pretty interesting improvements, of course, for those of you who are using the casting experience inside Windows 11. Microsoft is also adding HDR background support. You can now set JXR files to be your your desktop background and if you have an HDR display they will render in full HDR. Of course Microsoft is providing an in-depth step-by-step setup that you can do in their official blog posts so you're gonna have the link to that in the article below in the video description if you want to learn more about this new feature. Voice access is now available to use on more areas in Windows and basically Microsoft added it into the login screen of the PC or the lock screen and you can turn on voice access from the accessibility flyout or have it on automatically every time by checking the setting to start voice access before you sign in to the PC. And Microsoft is also adding multiple narrator natural voices in French, Portuguese, English, India, German, and Korea. In this build, Microsoft is also adding some presence sensing improvements. And in this build, they are adding the adaptive dimming and your device can now intelligently dim your screen when you look away and undim when you look back. And you can find these settings under settings, privacy and security, presence sensing, of course, if your device supports it. You're gonna have a screenshot to see how that looks. And they are also adding the presence sensing in Windows inside the OOB or the out of box experience in the installation process of Windows as an option to toggle on. And that is also, I think, pretty interesting. Related to Windows Copilot, as of build 23511, Windows Insiders in the dev channel who log and are managed by AED, will notice that the Windows Copilot preview is no longer available in this build. This is just a temporary issue. You may enable it temporarily via this policy located in the group policy, user configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and Windows Copilot. And of course, this will be changed in an upcoming flight. And also related to the Windows Copilot inside this build, there's a little change that was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3. And basically now Copilot has also the preview word next to the official section that appears when you hover over the Copilot icon from the task. Also related to taskbar and system tray, as mentioned in the blog post for build 23418, Microsoft Teams 3 is now pre-pinned to the taskbar in Windows 11. This change continues to roll out, so not all insiders will see it right away. Windows insiders who click to launch Teams will discover a mini communications experience, making it possible to chat, call, and meet with people with just a click or two. And inside the file explorer, Microsoft is also improving the details pane even more, and they are adding more info about certain files. For example, image dimensions for pictures, number of pages for .docx files, space used and free information for drives and many others. So this is for pictures, but if we go to this PC and we select a drive, we'll notice here some more information and also the quick link to properties. And here info such as type, space used, space free, total size, file system, and BitLocker status will be shown. As you can see, it's basically the most useful information about a drive. I think this is very nice and the new details pane is looking very intuitive, very minimalistic and that's how I like it. Also if you're using virtual desktops, since the last build from the dev channel, also discovered by Phantom Ocean 3, Microsoft improved the switching animation between desktops 
task so that is also a thing that you can most likely see and that is slowly rolling out but if you want i can make a different video in which i'll show you how to enable that so these are pretty much all the new changes and improvements inside the latest build from the dev channel now let's talk about a few fixes some general fixes after updating to build 23511 some insiders may have seen the photos app pinned to the taskbar this issue only occurred with that build and should no longer occur now regarding the file explorer microsoft fixed an issue where the icons displayed in the tabs in file explorer could become out of sync with the current folder after navigating they fixed a memory leak in file explorer with the latest updates which could cause explorer.exe crashes and other issues over prolonged usage they also fixed an underlying issue causing desktop icons to all go blank in the last few flights fix an issue which was causing file explorer to show working on it in an empty folder and they fixed an issue where the text box for naming newly created files or folders on the desktop was showing in the wrong position far away or way too close relative to the thumbnail they also fixed an issue where opening the context menu in the previous slide was crashing explorer.exe for some insiders also an issue where right clicking items in the navigation pane wouldn't open a context menu after you change folders was fixed fix an issue where alt plus p and shift plus alt plus p keyboard shortcut cuts weren't working when focus was set to one of the images in the gallery section fix an issue where home and gallery could get stuck in the wrong colors if they were open when changing between light and dark mode fix an issue where thumbnails in gallery might not load after changing the view to a smaller icon size for example medium to small and they also fix an issue where after refreshing home actions to pin and unpin favorite files might not work related to the new details pane they fixed an issue where the design of the details pane was displaying from left to right instead of right to left when using key Hebrew or Arabic display languages related to the modernized address bar the alt plus D control plus L and F4 keyboard shortcuts should work now to set focus to the address bar and they also fix an issue where typing drive letters percentage local app data percentage and certain other things in the address bar was in causing suggested paths to appear in a drop down related to the modernized home and file explorer they fix an issue which would cause explorer.exe to crash when opening home fix an issue where the tooltip would get stuck on the screen when you scroll old home with touch fix an issue where collapsing and expanding the sections of home didn't always work made some small adjustments to the size of elements including reducing the size of the text fix an issue where mouse wheel scrolling wasn't working if your mouse was hovered over the recommended section of home related to taskbar and system tray microsoft fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes impacting taskbar reliability regarding input they fixed an issue which was causing certain mouse actions including resizing windows with mouse to not work over remote desktop and regarding dynamic lighting microsoft fixed an issue where switching user accounts could turn off device leds and basically this is all there is to it to the latest dev channel build if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was imani from tech base until next time have a nice day